Fancy seeing you here for another MMA update. So, as I said before, we're not going to do these updates quite often as we were suspecting we might. And I'm going to tell you flat out, the reason is I am nowhere near ready for a freaking fight yet. I'm just not. Um, I have some good news and I have some news that's like hard for me to digest personally. And these things, frankly, are kind of therapeutic for me. So I'm going to just spit it right out. Let's start with the things that are not going to my liking first. Well, first of all, I'm just going to start with the grappling stuff. I am not proficient in takedowns whatsoever, and I had never really have been when it comes to just takedowns. I mean, like street fight type shit, it's hard enough where you like hit someone a bunch and then throw them to the ground. Um, but just wrestling, I'm talking strictly like double legs, single legs, all that type of ankle picks, like... It's just, I've never wrestled. I've never been a wrestler in high school. I never wrestled in middle school. I never wrestled ever. So all of the like takedowns that I ever knew were all from like Cheek Quinto or Krav Maga or like, frankly, bullshit takedowns. You know, like the single leg reap and, you know, where you stand behind them and you do that. And all the shit that really doesn't honestly work is what I always learned for takedowns. And cooperatively, sure, they look great. Do they actually work against resisting opponents? No, they don't. Um, the one thing that I struggled with my whole career as a white belt in jiu-jitsu was the takedowns. In fact, I'm a one-stripe blue belt now, and uh, I still struggle with the takedowns. Sometimes I will get a double leg. Sometimes I'll get, I don't even know what they're called, but I'm sort of a ankle pick type deal. And I have to show you, to, to show you what I mean, but um, there's a couple of them that I can grab. And the other day, I went and did some light no-gi stuff in the cage, and I got a couple of takedowns. But against an actual guy who's like a wrestler-wrestler or a guy who's been fighting for a long time, who's had several fights, I'm like not up to snuff. And so I get it. Like my plan is never really going to be the takedown king, but... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> fighting off a cold right now. But I need to at least get to the point where, hey, if I am fighting a kid that wrestled through high school or even college... I should at least be able to get those every now and again on them, right? Um, <clears throat> my whole thing is really I'd like to be able to stuff takedowns quite well, and I'm still working on that. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to grappling no-gi style, I, I'm doing a lot better than I had. I've strictly trained gi for a long time, that is jiu-jitsu, and I've just gotten back into no-gi, and I'm actually doing a lot better than I thought I would. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to submissions, I'm like also not really quite there, but... You know, my gym, we focus a lot more on position over submission. And uh, I think that's a good thing for MMA because of all the striking, right? Like, that's what I'm always thinking when it comes down to it is, you know, look, I've gotten the side control. I can start throwing good elbows from here, uh, even though I think when I do fight, elbows are not allowed. So, <laughs> but, you know, I, I think that position over submission is a good way of thinking, but I need to start working my subs a lot more. Um, we do so much training on position that... Frankly, uh, it's hard for me to like remember some of these chokes and stuff. So I just need to keep working on it. I think the the rear naked is going to be a real um, a real good one for me. But <clears throat> we'll get more into like what I think my strengths and weaknesses are at a later date. Suffice to say, I'm doing okay in the strictly grappling, but the takedowns not so great. Stuffing takedowns. I'm okay unless I'm fighting a guy, like I said, who's like seriously good at wrestling, in which case I get tossed around and I'm not liking that because I'm a competitive dude. How about the striking? Um, I'm not really, I'm, I'm, it depends who I'm fighting, right? Um, and I'm mostly sparring against guys who, again, have had several smoker fights, several cage matches, several whatever. Um, and it's, it's difficult and it's intimidating, frankly speaking. So... I mean, I look good when I'm boxing, um, shadow boxing that is, or even hitting the pads, but I have a long way to go. Um, I'm really working on footwork and angles. I'm really working at not staying stagnant. I'm working more on evading punches than anything else, and that's going to really help me out, I think, in the long run. But really what it is is getting the sparring experience, and uh, I'm getting that now, but <laughs> I'm going to get hit a lot before I start getting better. Now, let's go into the Muay Thai uh, aspect of it, right? So that was just the hands. Now we got to incorporate feet and, like, sweeps and stuff like that. 
I'm struggling, guys. I haven't been in Muay Thai in years. Like, I've been fucked around a little bit, but as far as strictly Muay Thai, I'm stiff as a board. My hips, like, my, my, I'm not going to tell you what's wrong with me, but like, <laughs> like, you know, like, I'm fucking stiff. Like, my high kits, kicks have always sucked, and they still suck, and I'm still working on my kicks a lot. Checking kicks, I'm okay at. But here's the good news is I've been going to the Muay Thai striking class and uh, the coach basically said, hey, who wants to fight? I raised my hand immediately. I said, coach, dude, I just started up with Muay Thai again, like after some years of a layoff. I got to work on my shit, but I do want to fight. And he says, all right, man, like if you want a smoker fight, I'll get you one. So boom, like pretty fucking chill. He told me that he'll like help me and, and give me pointers along the way and like get me there. And uh, he'll let me get a smoker fight. So I already know that before I step in that cage, I'm going to have a Muay Thai smoker fight. And that's going to be great. You know, I'm going to train really hard for it. And it's going to be fucking awesome, frankly speaking. Like, I forget a lot of shit all the time. Like, I've been I've taking a lot of damage to my head. So I really want to get this over with um, as far as, like, the hard sparring goes and shit like that. And I am, frankly, like... A little worried about it. I'm sure some of our fighters out there, maybe you guys can give me some advice. Like, don't get hit, Will. That's pretty, pretty fucking good advice. But you know what I mean. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to train probably six months. Maybe at the end of the year, I'll, I'll do my smoker fight uh, as far as the Muay Thai goes. And uh, we'll see how it is. And then after that, I'm going to fucking go all out for the cage fight. Um, once I've got that under my belt, you know. Uh, I think it'll I think it'll lend a lot better to spend a year working on working towards, you know, doing just a strictly stand up match, which is my stuff anyway. I've never been a like strong grappler. You know, and I think that after that I can start thinking about, all right, I've had a year of experience training hard and, and fighting now, like let's let's start putting on the little gloves and see how I fare with that. So that's my plan of attack. As far as the diet goes, I'm still doing it. I'm still at 189, 190. But that's coming from 196. So, hey, I'm doing okay. Um, I, as I said, I'm fighting off a cold right now. So I had to skip tonight. And I, I think I, did I skip yesterday as well? I did because I was fucking, I had the chills but no fever. Weird, right? So um, two days every time. I know like, it will, like fucking miss two days, like not, not going to hurt you so bad. But uh, the way I'm thinking is like I can't afford to miss any time. I got to train two, three hours a day, but that's how you get, <laughs> that's how you wear down your immune system and get sick. Unfortunately, I, I tend to overdo it and I tend to get really wrapped up and like, dude, like let's just get this fucking thing done. Let's prepare. Let's let's get in the best shape we can. And then sometimes I overdo it. So I'm really trying hard to like keep to my training schedule, um, train four days a week and waits the rest of the time. But you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, I. I am looking forward to reporting to you guys in a couple of weeks and saying, hey, I'm seeing progress in the Muay Thai and maybe the grappling as well. But, um, you know, I appreciate, seriously, all of you guys who comment, commented. Like, I know Tommy from uh, Baritsu Labs and, you know, you're a fighter. And I know, you know, DJ and all the guys out there, Apocalypse, y'all have uh, been very supportive of me and I'm fucking appreciative. It's hard to go from, like, um, all of this, I don't know what to call it, combatives type stuff where it's like all right like we're gonna get as close to the threshold of fighting without fighting to actually fighting people who are very experienced <laughs> and seasoned fighters who have you know legitimately like had a few a few at least a few fights each most of the guys i meet have had two three four cage fights um like six is kind of like your average as far as the more seasoned guys so i'm fighting guys that are like seriously good and uh that's that's my my plan is to get seriously good. I don't want to be one of those mother flowers that just says, you know, oh, in the streets. But look, I want to be the guy that says this is this is how it's done because I've done it and I've been there and all of that. And uh, my street experience is one thing, but I, I want to be able to get really seriously good at this stuff. So what I'm trying to say is thank you so much, guys, for all of your um, encouragement. I appreciate it. Until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. And I'll catch you all in the next MMA episode.